What's good, y'all? Slime Green Beats. How you doing? So, um, Boss Life Beats. He messaged me and he was he was saying he had a hard time going from two to four bars. So, um, this this is kind of all about my take of you know extending music, the length of like a pattern, and then like how long is is ideal and enough. So, two bars in general is way too short. Okay. So like overall from this, and it's just really like a count. It's not necessarily the bars. It's like, if something is like this, like that short repeating over and over again, it's gonna get pretty repetitive. Now, two bars can work for certain patterns. Maybe like hi-hat patterns, a two bar it wouldn't be as bad. Or like, um, maybe if you're just using one percussion instrument, like a doop. Like if that's like it, then two bars isn't like bad necessarily, but in general, you should at least, usually I would pretty much never use two bars. Um, but again, you know, there are specific situations, which I'm sure some, some of you watching could probably relate to. But um, yeah, in general, two is too short. So four is, um, is good. Four will work a lot of the time. Um, <clears throat> Now every four you kind of want to switch it up too. So every two you kind of want to have something different in the next set of twos, and then every fours you know you want something different too. So what I do is I just make like eight bars almost every time, and sometimes I'll even do sixteens. Now it, it, sixteen is good too. Like sixteen, I've noticed when I do get sixteen, some of the reactions I get is like, oh I didn't expect that part, and uh, that's because you know that's a good reaction. And honestly, I should probably start doing more of those, but you know, the reason you wouldn't is because it would be super time consuming. Like if I was gonna create a drum pattern, especially using the channel rack or something like that, over a 16, it would be ridiculous. But honestly, that's a really solid method and I think I'm gonna start doing that a lot more. But um, like, I guess for starters, and I don't wanna generalize too much, you know, cause at the end of the day, I always say like, you know, make beats however you want to. I'm just like showing you from experience what I feel like works the best but um yeah so eight bars is solid and shout out to my boy Devonta he actually taught me uh he's a he's a producer he actually taught me like switching things up and like how it counts and things like that so anyways let's let's uh let's kind of like develop a pattern and then I'll kind of like explain why because going from two to four I remember that was something I dealt with when I re first first started and there's a lot of different ways to just like extend it. So we'll do, let's just see what happens here actually. Oh, right on cue, my keyboard is not working. So I'm actually playing. Now you don't have to actually like play music. You can, um, you know what, first step, Matthew, put your freaking, uh, put your freaking, freaking keyboard in the freaking USB thing. Okay, there we go. So first step is put your keyboard in the USB thing. If you have a keyboard, it's like the same technique whether you have a keyboard or not. All right, let me get a sound that's like, oh man, these, these are annoying, man. Where's that new kit that I just downloaded? Chocolate E3. So we'll just do that real quick. I'll just record. And the reason I like to actually play is because it's a lot easier to record things over 16, for instance, or an eight, if you're actually playing it versus plugging it in. Because when you plug it in, I feel like it's just more time consuming. It really is. So as you see, this is a two bar right here, right? This is a two bar. And you know, when you're recording, have things on half beat or beat, so you can like, get it on beat basically. And then um, that's really like the essentials with that. So, so we have a two bar here, right? What we can do is we can copy and paste. We can go control A, control B. Now we have a four bar, all right? Now what we can do is kind of like modify these notes like the top and the bottom ones and it can create like more variation. So we'll go like this. Let's hear how that sounds.
Maybe we can go like this. See how that sounds. Okay, so you know, a little bit of variation there. And then you could copy and paste that whole thing and maybe try to add some variation, even more variation to this eight bar part, you know. But you know, step by step, it, it, if you're just starting off a four is okay. I'm always like, beat making in the early days is really all about just getting reps and you know, trying to do things, trying to experiment. So like do whatever again, do whatever you want and don't be afraid to experiment. Like if you're just starting off as a beat maker, you're probably not gonna have, you're probably not gonna like, this is for, coming from experience with somebody's been making beats like five plus years um, and doing music much longer. But like, if, if you're just starting off, it's okay to just get reps. You don't have to like, like you, you can't expect to hit the charts or get, get a placement from, you know, Kodak Black in your first year of beat making. That's just incredibly unrealistic. Now, I'm not gonna say that's impossible, but you know, you gotta get your skills up. So yeah, basically don't be afraid to like try new things. So let's hear that sounds. See, I kind of added that variation. So that's how you kind of like bring things from two to four. And it's like the same technique with uh, with hi-hats. So you could go like, you know, with the hi-hat, it would be something like, let's mute this, be like, tick. And I kind of like working in the, uh, the only time I really, I, I try to avoid using the channel rack, like in general. I just feel like the channel rack is like too, like, it's too, it's too hard to like see what's going on. Um, if they were just doing a hi-hat pattern, it's just like this. So we're just like, hi-hat pattern, right? And now we have like a two, right? So go ahead and just, let's just make this four. And then we just kind of like add variation. It's like the same technique, but like, you know, instead of like a stale hi-hat, like, which honestly, there, I've heard a lot of big tracks where like the hi-hats are just like that the whole time. Like they don't switch up ever, but like, you know, for the sake of this video, it will be like, one thing you can do with hi-hats is like switch it to thirds, which is snap, one third beat. So you can go like this, you can go like that. T -t 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 or you could go like that. Something like. That. See, how I did there. Oh, I did that wrong. It's kind of like you just gotta practice that one. Yeah, just pull out the third and just give it a go. <laughs> So let's see. And then we could do again another eight. Oh crap, see, you gotta be careful. If you have like another pattern, it's kind of copy, like it's like weird like that. So what I do is like cops, make sure you select this upper area up here before you control A, control B, basically. Okay, a lot of beat making is knowing hotkeys. So like we have a hotkeys video, so be sure to check it out. Just search like hotkeys, slamming beats. And, you know, if we want to switch it up, we'd be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is an example. So that's it for this video, guys. Hopefully that helps you guys kind of like progress and add more variation to your tracks. I would say variation and arrangement, like the arrangement being like, how you order the patterns and like when you like take things off and whatnot. Um, the arrangement and variation of the patterns is such an important thing in beat making. Like you kind of want your beats to be as unboring as possible while still being a being rappable. That's like a that's like a solid rule of thumb, or you know, singable or whatever your thing is. Or you know, if if you're not even trying to get rappers on tracks, shoot. There's a place for that too. Let's, I listen to plan. I have actually started listening to just straight up beats more nowadays. Like, like I listen to beats and I listen to just tracks, like actual vocals and stuff. But um, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Slime Green Beats. Oh shoot, let me grab my book, man. Make sure you guys check out the Slime Green Beats How to Make Beats book. It's available on Amazon. Available on Amazon. Link.
There's a link in the description, so you can just click that link. It'll bring you right to the landing page where you can order on Amazon. Ship in a couple of days. Yeah, go ahead and get this book, guys. It's great for beginners, intermediate. Pretty much anybody can learn a thing or two from it. Man, like, this book is amazing. I remember writing this. Debt will obviously, you know. Uh, but, like, um, me and Stunna, whose other producer was Slime Green Beast, man, we took for... That, this book took, I kid you not, like, maybe a year and a half to create. Like, almost like, it, it, I don't even think we would have wrote it if it wasn't for the pandemic, too. Because I literally had, like, nothing to do. Because my job was, like, it was amazing. They paid me for, like, six, five, four or five months of, like, not working. It was phenomenal. Um, and, like, during that time, I basically had nothing to do. So, like, I just, we wrote. We sat and we wrote. And it took like it literally took like the whole year almost to finish it. It was, it was ridiculous. So definitely check it out, guys. It's a really good book. Anyway, yeah. But yeah, let me know if, if you guys have any more questions. You know, I think I said before, uh, I, I paused from responding to comments because they were just so negative. But I kind of grew some chest hair, and I'm I'm ready for whatever. So like whatever comments y'all got, whatever questions y'all got, let me know. I'll be trying to try to make a video for it. And uh, that, yep, and whatnot. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Slime Green Beats of the Building. Take care, guys. And uh, happy beat making. Peace out.